What is up, guys? Back in another video. Um, PC arrived, yes, and the monitor. So I'm streaming on a whole new thing. Got my webcam right here. Um, and my first stream, I obviously got back in the Mythic. Obviously, I'm just the best. Um, and my first stream is going to be Mono Green uh, Henge or uh, Food. This deck is, in my opinion, the best deck. If or definitely one of the best decks, if not the best deck in the meta right now. Um, as you can see, I full edited it out. I'm going to be playing this list in a tournament tomorrow. If you want to check out the sideboard, here's your sideboard. Um, I'm going to do a quick overview of the sideboard. The list is very straightforward. Each creature is not really um, anything new. I guess Wolf is kind of new, Troll King, but these are just, you know, the cards. They, they do stuff, right? And they're main deck cards. Um, one thing it is to note, we're only playing 19 basics. Or 19 lands um, plus this. <coughs> Sorry. Um, damn. So basically 21 untapped sources um, and another 8 creature kind of tap sources plus geese. Um, and I guess these also can ramp. But let's take, it the, take a look at the sideboard. We have this against the mill decks. Um, Spider is just like one of the best escape creatures to deal with, uh, especially like the flying rogues, like the rogue lord. The Thought Thief is really good. This card's really good at taking that out when it comes back from the graveyard. And also, when they mill us and we have this guy on our deck, it's kind of like drawing us cards. It's really nice. It takes cards out of our graveyard, so we can help them get below eight cards. Um, if, they, if it's early game and we mill this out, we can just keep exiling, cards for, exile for, exiling four other cards from our graveyard and keeping them off of having more than eight cards in our graveyard. Shadow Spear against all the aggro decks, um, or against, I guess, Dream Trawler, but I'm not expecting any Dream Trawlers. Um, but mostly just against the aggro decks. Trample Life Link on one of our bigger creatures. This especially is just so good sometimes. Soul Guard Lantern against Rakdos Midrange, whatever we need to exile stuff from, right? Uh, Ramp Through against creature decks. Um, it's also very nice with this guy, 7 6 Trampler already. You can get some good damage in after. This against the more control decks, it gives us a little bit more value. Keep our keep our engine running four cards in one card is really nice. Um, then we have Love Struck Beast. Uh, just against the aggro decks, we're playing four of him. A great board in. We'll board out usually Anguirus or something just to have him as just a really good blocker against like Mono Red and stuff. One Garrick. Um, same thing that the. Just most. Against the slower, more control decks, this guy can put out two creatures um, or even sometimes more. Usually he'll come out, put a creature, and then they'll kill it. If it doesn't, then you get another creature or we pump something. It's just really good um, value against control decks. And then Kogla against creature decks. Drop him on turn five with the castle um, and fight out their thing. We don't really have any humans, I don't think. Yeah, we know humans, but um, we do have a big 7-6 that just fought off a creature, and that is good. Um, one really, really powerful card in this deck is Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf can do so much value when you have Trail of Crumbs. It's a free sacrifice effect for tokens. Um, when you have Feasting Troll King to give you three foods, this guy getting indestructible. I mean, it's like every single deck, Wicked Wolf is just nuts. So, we're going to be playing some traditional standard ranked, and I believe I am 545 right now. So, let's just hop right in, guys. Um, yeah. Um, I haven't been able to figure out how to get this guy to work quite yet. Uh, I just moved to new stuff. I had to set up a whole new OBS. Um, so that did take a second, take a hot second to figure out how to do. But uh, by next stream, hopefully, I will have this guy figured out. And I'll be able to... You won't have to hear my background, pretty much. This is a nice little keep on the play. Um, oh, if you're wondering what PC I got, I got a Alienware R11, the newest one. Um, not upgraded at all, but... It still is nice. It's running the game at highest quality. Actually, we should turn that down a little bit. Um, let's put it high. Always draw that goose on turn two. Um, okay, it looks like we're playing against rogues. Uh, I'm going to run out Trail of Crumbs rather than goose just to use all of our mana. And there's not much we're ramping to anyway. So, just want to make sure. I, don't really, I definitely didn't want to run out Scoos there against almost any deck until we know if there's something to exile or something. So... Uh, it does look like it is um, either a Demir Control or a, some Demir Rogues or Control List. Uh, maybe not Rogues because I don't see Luris, so it could be Control. Well, I was really talking about how I've, I was talking to my friend about how I haven't seen any of this on ladder, even though MPG Goldfish says it's the number one most played deck. 
but apparently today we see one, right? First time for everything. Um, oh, I forgot what I need to do. I usually, ah, first dream, first dream problems, right? Cling to dust his own card, sure. You do that, opponent, you do that. Um, opt, yeah, so it does look like we're playing against a Demir, like either control or, or mill or mill control, some something in between or control probably, whatever, playing against that. Um, next turn I probably want to go Scooze to get that cling. If, unless I draw another creature. If I draw a wolf, then I'm just gonna be fine here with playing wolf. Sometimes you don't have to play wolf for the fight. Like if they, if you play wolf with two foods, they're just gonna really really gonna struggle. Um, let's think about this here. This is our fourth mana, fourth land. We're gonna have five mana total worth of lands. We can exile. I was just trying to think of if we would ever want to play this as a spell or a land. Um, I think we're gonna play this anyway. Um, we need to get Kling and our own creature. Um, tutelage. Well, I guess we're playing against Mill, so we should probably get a little bit more aggressive. Um, against Mill main deck, we do have Feasting Troll Kings, which are quite nice, if I might add, when you have Trail Crumbs and stuff. So if, we, if he mills out of Feasting, then we get to get it out and draw the best two permanents out of four cards, which is good. Top land, pass. Interesting. Well, we'll mill out Cling to Dust, just in case. And we'll mill out our own, or we'll not mill it out. We'll exile it, and we'll exile our Goose. Yay. Um, let's go swinging. Bunk. Um, get this castle out here. Get this. Um, he mills two cards. Land Wolf, there's another counter on the Scoos. We already dodged Heartless Act, but we haven't dodged a uh, good Fatal Push. Tutelage number two. Angurus would be quite helpful here, honestly. Honestly, yeah, definitely. Um, uh, be gone. Just in case he has a land and something, just gonna take that out while we have priority. Ooh, Troll King. Now do you see the power of the Troll King against rogues? Either exile this or have a steal with a 7-6 next turn. Please don't exile it. I'd rather I'd rather have you have to deal with a 7-6. That would be that would be quite helpful. We'll exile the wolves. Not much to fight, and I'm also a little bit scared of him maybe having a Zareth Sand or whatever that card's called, so I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, we have double Trail Crumbs at six triggers. Well, we're only gonna activate a few. Um, get a land. And Gurus. Uh, we can do one more. Ooh. I'm making excuse here. All right, um... No, he didn't have Drown the Lock. Take out a Toot. As long as we slow them down, like we make it harder and harder for them to mill us, we should just win just by them not doing anything except for milling us, right? He is dead next turn if he doesn't have a removal spell, but both of these are even, so Extinction Event will be a clean answer. Oof. Oof skis. We have nothing with haste in the deck. Um, just should be known. And when Turn Timber gets uh, Troll King, it doesn't make good food. This has to be cast from the hand to make good food. Why did I not activate the castle there? Um, I'm a little scared of something getting instant speed, and we can mail him. We can, we can exile enough cards with this Scavenging Ooze anyway, so. Hmm, you have to start using go go Goosey to make food. So we can start feeding our... 
Well, let's let's take out your graveyard here. Second has more most powerful spells. Just gonna mill them all out. Um, this is just in case he has a cling to dust. Uh, just reducing the chances of him being able to escape it or them. Uh, we are still in a good position because we have turn timber and we have trail crowns with the food. And we have a source of making food. I mean, even if he kills Goose, we can just crack food to, to you know, find some permanence. Oh, God. Ooh, I did throw that kind of. Maybe we wanted to play around that a little bit. Um, uh. Well, if I draw like a goose or something, I can get that, that troll king back. Unless he drew a cling crab and land. What are we at? 21? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Getting, getting closer to death than I would like to be against the mill deck. The mill deck is always kind of 50-50. Does it have this into the story? Did it draw it? You know. Maybe I maybe I misplayed that a tad bit. Could have could have made uh, maybe. Oh, he had the cling too. Um, ugh. I mean I am flooding hard, but we just get the seven six just to have it. Two more to, not, to 17 we go. He came out three with the land. Just to keep our, our oh my god, that's eight. We fall down to nine cards left in deck. Um, looks like we're just dead here. I really, I hate mill so much right now. It's so toxic. This is like the only deck that this deck loses to. It's just this mill deck, and it's only on ladder. And our crappy eight land draws, you know? Nine land draws. And we have a land on top. Oh, no we don't. It's like, we build it up. Like next, oh crap. Damn, he, he had Fable Passage too, okay. Well, we're actually, we might just be dead here. He gets a land, he can put us to one card in hand with, their, with the crack of the bat to draw a card. And then mill two more. So we'll have one card, draw it. There's for meaning, and that is GG's. Interesting. Um, well, we know what we're playing against this deck. I mean, I mean we know we're, 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 you know, our strat here. We're playing these. Um, Bitten aggro. Gem Razor is usually what I would board out here, but he does have the tutelage. T -t -t -tutelage. Um, so we'll board out Henge. I don't want to board out Wolf because there are fight targets. Um, maybe one Angler, just because it's so bad. He's so bad against removal spells. This PC is really nice, and the monitor is so much bigger. I was running, uh, I was playing Magic on the, when I was playing Arena on the, um, tw on a 21.5 inch iMac, um, that I had boot camp to Windows, so it was really slow, and then I got this PC and this 27 inch monitor, so the monitor is a lot bigger also, which is nice. Ooh. Turn on Uzi Goose. He millions. This is usually what happens is we usually we usually have so much of an advantage with the spider in games two and three that we usually just take them after narrowly losing game one. But at least that's what's happened the last two times I've played against Mill is that we lose game one and then Spider just carries us to victory for the next two games, but I don't know. Not hundred percent guaranteed. Uh, he didn't have crab on one and he just used a fable passage, so that's The horror begins. I think if he kills my goose, I'll, I'll go to sack of food and dig two permanents because I have nothing to do in my hand. I think we'll do it out anyway, actually. Hello. 
low. I'm gonna take the scare. Not gonna play it right now. Actually, I should for sure play it right now. <laughs> he has two cards in hand. Um, I guess he could have a counter spell, but I really doubt he has a negate in his main deck. Please. <laughs> Please. I assume you just have like a drown the lock that you can't play. We'll make a 3 3. He'll eat his own Fable Passage to draw a card. Maybe we should be playing um, Harbinger and Sideboard. Like two Harbingers and Sideboard just to. To deal with the the mill, hmm, that is a strategy. But to like the the, the Demir control list, I haven't seen any on ladder. But I right, gonna mill two cards. The problem with spiders is that sometimes you draw it. Never have you. Oh my god. Okay. The problem with this card is that sometimes you draw it, and why would anyone ever want to draw their their creature, right? Like you want to have it in your graveyard. Right? You want your creatures to get milled out. Come on, this is basic. Play some more spiders. Well, he, we've drawn two of our spiders. We kept the hand with one, actually. So we've only we've top decked a spider. Like the absolute go to we are. Fable Passage. Doggo's going crazy over there. Who's at the door, Blue? Settle. Settle. Good boy. Saddle! Saddle big flu. This is a border collie Australian shepherd mix. He's kind of big, loud bark, big, loud dog in general at this point. Let's see if he wants to kill a spider. I'm gonna play this after combat. What's nice is that sometimes when they mill out a troll king, you can go troll king from your hand, get the food, get the other troll king back instantly, and then you just paid six mana. Okay. Found that. Tigers. That's why I targeted the spider, so we couldn't. So we'd have to kill a spider to, you know, not get screwed up. Do we want a spider here just to keep him off of? I think we want to. Uh, this is so weird. I want a spider here because then he won't be able to drown the lock. Just completely empty my graveyard. The drown the lock won't work. GG's. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Henge is definitely the 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 play to board out. Uh huh. Like, we, we just don't want to draw any more cards, or, you know, we don't want to draw more cards. We don't want to get into a position where we're just drawing way too many cards, and... I mean, if we have hand jab, we're most likely just going to win with our amount of creatures being able to overrun, but if they have, like, two board wipes, our hand will have drawn us enough cards where it, we're just going to be so much easier to mill out, you know? And it's hand just slow enough to get two, I'd rather just have creatures over it. Smack them with. Maybe... Maybe we put some Harbingers in here, because it MTG Goldfish says Demir Control is the number one deck, but then you go on MTG Melee, which is the actual site the tournaments are done, and you check it out, and it's like, yeah, we, uh, our best deck is, like, like there's three aggro decks, so straight up, so, I don't know. I trust MTG Melee more, but, because MTG Melee actually hosts tournaments, and then it takes, um, the, the records of all the people who played in the tournaments and what their decks were and shows it to everyone and bases it like, you know, how many versions of this deck were in this tournament, so what's their percentage in the metagame, you know, like, so. I trust it more than MTG Goldfish. I don't know where MTG Goldfish gets it. I think, they, I think people input the tournaments into MTG Goldfish, but they don't input enough because you can check recent tournaments and they're only, like, the biggest tournaments. But, I mean... Magic is not just played at the biggest level. Okay, we'll keep. I, I can keep hands that are like, oops, all spells, like, double, one land, double mammoth. The problem with this deck is sometimes it can, oh my god. Oh, oh no. Well, I mean, it's gonna die anyway, and we're gonna feel real bad, but. Maybe we didn't want to go for that there, just because, like, when he kills, if he, if he kill, oh my god, no. Please don't have untapped black source. Oh god, that's 12 cards in a land. He just milled 12 cards with his Fable Passage. 
very balanced magic. Hashtag balanced magic. Well, I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna put out a creature. I can do things. That's what heroes do. Um, if he doesn't, I assume he's getting black. Yeah. Level six. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. He got a spider and a facing troll king. Spider and two facing troll king. So far in our grave. Um, but I can't. I can't. I can pay for the fight, but I can't pay to get a plus and plus one to kill a crab. So the crab survived in that turn. Next turn, hopefully, I can kill both of his crabs. Power problem might. Or if I get a land, I might just want to go for a Wicked Wolf. But having no food is kind of. Eh. Eh. You know? The big problem with, with dealing with his deck or with their deck is the fact that when they get the 4 mana, they can just spend 4 mana to draw 4 cards and completely replenish their hand, which is pretty much an insta win. Like. Yeah, or cracking that for a card. I mean, for for mana, um, we can play tap mammoth and then primal might both of the crabs away. That's fine with me as long as we're not getting milled. Ooh, that was not a you. You are lacking lands, my friend. Now is a perfect time to primal might away your stuff. Well, next turn is going to be interesting. We can... Oh, I guess he's going to take a wolf, most likely. Or maybe a mammoth. Yeah, that's the problem with playing your creatures as... Uh, do have your, having your creatures double as land. That every once in a while, you just... That happens. Um, do we even care about playing wolf as much as just growing our skews? Nah, we'll play... We'll play a, we'll play a wolf. Um, these are both even, so I'm a little scared of the extinction event, but then I realized... He's stuck on two, so he'd have to draw two lands, plus already have an extinction event in hand. Um, and if I had gone all in on the scoos, he could have done that, so. Like I said, Spider and our aggro decks usually carry us through. He is kind of flooding, or not flooding, screwed. Not kind of, he is screwed. Literally and mana screwed. Um, ooh, land, uh-oh, uh-oh. Are we playing magic now? I don't wanna do that, I just, I just wanna keep, I can get Spider back every single turn, so. Yeah, cause I, oh, Epic Downfall's a card. Looks like you had a, I'm not gonna show him the land. I assume he has like a, maybe a duress or something. So he had a black open and he didn't go to kill the arachnid, which he probably should have. Just went for it. Um, thirst and harvest act. It's a whole lot of removal spells if that's what he has. All clean to dust. Oh, well now I'm actually starting to feel the pressure here to to do something. I'm gonna play this land so I can turn timber if I draw a land. Actually, I'm now no longer feeling the pressure. If I draw a creature, then I'm fine. If I draw a land, then I'm also fine. Um, though I am okay. I'm not gonna. Doesn't matter really if I have six or more, you know, because I only need four mana. So. GG's. Well, 361, ladies and gentlemen. We're going. We're going for it. We're going for the money. As their face explodes. This coveted prize, if you guys can see the art behind this loading screen, 
I want to build a Mardu Party Winota deck with this Coveted Prize. Because Coveted Prize, if you don't know what Coveted Prize does, Coveted Prize is a rare, it is a five mana sorcery, a black and four, right? It costs one less for each creature you're in, or for each, for your party, for, it costs one less for each creature in your party. So it can, it can pretty much be one mana. If you have a full party, it's one mana, one black mana. And it says, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand. Then if you have a full party, you make asked a creature, or a, you make asked a spell from your hand with the inverted mana cost four or less without paying its mana cost. So basically I want to get a full party and then a one mana tutor out my um, Winota and play it. And then swing and win. That's what I really, I really want to build a deck that can do that. That sounds so fun, but it's a lot of wild cards and I don't want to do that yet. Especially when I wasn't streaming, I just, I was, I got a little, you know, insecure. Didn't want to, you know, waste wild cards. I have seven rares and seven mythics right now, including a, uh, also a vault. So that's technically nine rares, um, eight mythics. Um, so if you guys have any deck suggestions, I would love to hear them. No calls right now, bro. In the stream. One sec. Looks like a Doom Lust, or Jump Doom, Esper Doom, something. Playing 80, 80 cards. Good against the, the mill. <laughs> the elephant noises. Why do I keep drawing these primal mites against decks that I don't want to draw my primal mites against? Three mana, still nothing. Elephant. Elephant. Um, do we just bet on drawing a land? Yes, we do. Land, please! That is not a land. Where? Well, that, was, that technically was a land. Doing a plus equals two. Doom will sack itself. Um, and we have three odd creatures, which is really asking to get extinction evented, but doesn't have it, so. Okay, um, we're playing with Esper Doom, we want our Garrick, we want the Maze Mind Tome, and we want some luck. That's the problem, we don't have that much board against them. Is there any reason to board in two Lowstruck Beasts rather than these Anguirses? Is there any reason to even play these Lowstruck Beasts in the sideboard? Because I've played many games and haven't board these in once. Quinky Dink, I think not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do some, um, reorging here. I think I'm gonna take out two Lowstruck Beasts for two uh, Harbingers, or maybe I should take out four, because one this deck used to play Harbingers, but then it switched a little bit more um, when I saw a little bit more creature decks, and but then we're going back, and when you go turn one Goose, turn two Harbinger on the play, the game is like straight up over for any control deck that can't interact with it, because it, they're instantly taking damage, right? And you're in, you're instantly taking four, which doesn't really, I mean, four is a decent amount of damage to take on turn two, or three. <laughs> To hit them for on turn three, but what really mattered was the fact that they not only are they taking that damage, that you're drawing a creature like a guaranteed four cards to find either a Garrick or a creature, and that was nuts because it really helped out, helped you out the whole game. And then maybe you get a second hit because maybe they didn't have another one, right? Like, just saying, kind of nuts. 
All right, we're about to make the biggest brain play you've ever seen. We're going to tap this for green. We're going to play the tome. You know why we're doing that? Because I do not want to get blown out by a removal spell to our floor, Hedron, causing us, uh, in, in response to my tome, causing me to not be able to draw a card. And I would like to draw a card, please. Thank you. He's got one on top, one on bottom. Apparently, he would also like to draw an extra card. Um, let me full screen this. Um, okay. Make sure I didn't miss any chats. I did not. Ooh, he bolts himself. Nasa is a card. Damn. Say enchantment. Creature. Okay. He's gonna make us discard a card. We'll be wrong. Get some insight into what we might want to discard, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a goose. It feels kind of bad, but we kind of want everything else, so. Whatever. Wipe that away so that Thassa doesn't have any cool targets. I guess discard more cards. I believe that if we get Henge down, we just win, so... Oh, he's gonna get two around to land out. That's cool with us, so... Sometimes the games just are over, like, in a snap like this. Um, if we get a land, I'm for sure that we can... Henge here, so... Because we get the land, we get the trigger on the Mammoth, it grows, Henge, boom, game over, right? Just turn them all sideways. In this game. Bonk. Can I actually do both? No, I can't. And, and then I also have mana for this um, which I'll actually do right now. See if I can draw two drop. Nope, that's not too bad. But it is a creature, which can help us to fight out that and draw cards. So yay. What is the real choice here is what is, what is the discard gonna be? And will it matter? Like if he has it, if he has another one of those creatures. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna. I think like, we're just gonna lose our tome here, and to the doom. Ooh. Ramping, <laughs> really ramping out here. Um. Yeah, I think we'll just lose our tome. This is a lot of value. This is not the engine that I was presented with last game. Last game, all I saw was a Doom Portal and some Esper Lens and a Yorion. So, that didn't even hit the battlefield. It was just sitting in a companion zone. This is this is some this is some some power if I've ever seen it. Well, we'll lose our time. Thank you very much. Not really thank you very much, but we'll lose our time. Whoa. 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 Ooh, ooh, can I get him to sacrifice his thought? No, this will come back, right? Uh -huh, I almost, I almost threw a game. That would not have been fun if I had done that. Um, we'll put this on here. Over. Face. He tutors out another land. Big ramping for the opponent, but the question is, does he have the means to do something with all of that mana. Does he have the beautiful board wipe? Well, he has a removal spell. I'm instantly now assuming that he does not have a board wipe. Yorion. Oh, jeez. Uh, we'll get a 4-4. Well, that's tapping him out. Did we just win on spot with Primal Might? Even though we're gonna have straight up only apparitions. We don't have anything to trample, never mind. I lied. We're not gonna win. Straight up. Wait, what did he hit with the Skyglade? Okay. He can take out our whole last board. This was an interesting choice, though. Oh, he's gonna flicker his Yoran again. Oh, God. More triggers.
Um, okay, that's definitely what we want to do. That sounds awesome! <laughs> Block or die, fool! Get these, get these creatures out of here! Get, get them out of here! Get them out of here! Doo -doo. We get a 4-4 four, four, a four, four back. He gets to draw a card. Yoran gets a trigger on Element of the Sea. Draws two, draws a card. Um, we have some power now. Guys, one on top, one on bottom, some draws. Feeling pretty good about this, ladies and gentlemen. Feeling pretty dang good about this. Pretty, pretty good. Glass caskets. Okay, that's a that's an answer to one of our creatures. The big problem for him is going to be the feasting troll king. So I'd like to see how he deals with that, All right? Because you know, none of these can hit it. So uh, maybe you can just kick a a fatal push. Oh, he can tap it with Asa. Yeah, he knows he can tap it with Asa. He's not gonna flicker it. No, not in token. Ah, oh, I was about to say, that's pretty cool. Combat. Attackers. He just let us, oh, okay, I'm just trying to attack from out here. Attackers. No, not ending turn. Gilded Goose. Cycle the bird. The goose is loose. Perfect. Castle Ganbrake, wrapping us a mana. Oh, he's like, yes, one mana for spike. Can't even know because we have. He has, he has an army that he has to deal with. What did he pay three mana for? I'll be right. Well, I'm gonna go with Garrick. What this man has is a mystery. Apparently nothing. Good game. 246. This is what happens when you play the best deck, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but come back tomorrow, come back with full force, you know, and we'll win. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.